again, folks. The the uh, let me turn off this recording. Oh shucks, I didn't have sound on. The um. The religion itself rises or falls on its prophet, and, and the dirty, filthy pedophile from the 7th century is not going to ever qualify, ever, ever, as a prophet of God, let alone the final revelation given to mankind. It cannot be. Okay? So, um, if anybody else wants to have a shot at this uh, old topic, come on up. Uh, James, you might. You know, guys, when Jesus was talking about the law, what did he say? Truly, you will not get out until you've paid the very last penny. Jesus was all for following the law set up by the people around them. Because we believe in Christianity that God has written his moral laws upon our heart. And we all agree on various things. It's only unless you become, you follow a satanic religion such as Islam that permits this, that you then think it's uh, alright to do such a thing. And we have 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 saying that the sexually immoral will not enter the kingdom of heaven. It's all over Revelation. I mean, there's like over, I would say, 20 verses talking about this in the Bible, that it's wrong, that they they just didn't do that. And even when you look back in the book of Genesis, with uh, um, when uh, uh, I believe it was Jacob's servant looking for a wife uh, for him, uh, they his servant said, well, okay, this, this at the well, okay, this woman is now old enough to be married. So even back in Genesis, in the beginning, when they didn't have the law yet, they knew it was still wrong to do that. You have to go against your conscience to do such a thing. You have to be mentally sick. And he's going to come up and say, oh, there's no law in Christianity against that. It's written all over the Bible not to do that. Whoa. Are these guys mental? Like, And then he said, he was accusing uh, us of being liars. Yet, if you read at the beginning, coming in the room, he says, I want to learn about Christianity. I want to learn about Christianity. And then suddenly, five minutes for me, five minutes for you on the mic as a debate. So suddenly now he wants to debate Islam. And he's going to accuse somebody of being a liar when he just lied to us? And look at the filth he posted. Why? Because we are exposing him. Then he has to post up this filth in the room just asking for a bounce so that he has an excuse to run. This is what they do. They can't answer. They they try and divert the subject. They're, who could anybody even uh, answer for this filthy prophet? False prophet, liar, pedophile, deceiver, satanic man. This is why they have to go by the sword. There's no way. <laughs> Anyways, I'll pass up the mic. Uh, go ahead, uh, gotcha woman. There is no voice, uh, gotcha woman. There is no voice, okay? Try again. Are you there, gotcha woman? Take the mic. Uh, 